Adant Systems, where technology meets passion. Hi, hello folks. Welcome back to Tech and Tacos. Today I'm here with a podcast series where we'll be talking about tech, the trends, the emerging possibilities and more. That too with people who are staying on top of this in their current capacities. Today, we have Crystal Lissy, one of the team leads of web applications at Adant Systems. Hi, Crystal. Welcome to Tech and Tacos. How excited are you to be a mm-hmm. part of this series as a first get Tattoo to share your experience across web development, especially in the frameworks like React and mm-hmm. Angular and the other experience that you have? Absolutely, Arjun. It's a pleasure to be here and engage in this discussion with you. Web app development is an ever evolving field and there is so much we can explore together. Indeed. Let's start the discussion by discussing the importance of choosing the right tech stack for web app development. Crystal, in your uh, experience as a web developer, how do you approach the decision-making process to choose the right or appropriate tech stacks? Uh, when it coming to choosing the tech stack, I consider various factors. The first and foremost is like to understanding the requirement of the project and its desired outcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we take into the account like our uh, team's availability and expertise. Mm-hmm. Then the application security, the performance and the flexibility comes into play. Then additionally, the factors like uh, documentation, uh, mm-hmm. community supports and the availability of our team uh, plays an important role in uh, deciding the uh, tech stack exactly. of our project. Yeah, I completely mm-hmm. agree on that because that's what I've learned mm-hmm. in my experience as well because we should always go for a well-rounded mm-hmm. approach considering all these factors, performance, security, uh, yeah, these are crucial mm-hmm. factors, right? Now, maybe Crystal, if you could share uh, your experience uh, over the couple of major frameworks like React, uh, React.js mm-hmm. and Angular maybe highlighting its uh, strength and weaknesses or, or maybe your experience in that. Angular is a comprehensive framework and it supports uh, to building the complex web applications. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reason is like uh, it offers uh, robust features mm-hmm. and also the seamless integration with the TypeScript. Uh, it also is good to uh, create uh, the high level applications. Okay. However, uh, it have a steep learning curve. Uh, oh. So uh, we have to set up uh, before starting the project, we have to uh, go into many things and okay. we have to uh, learn the things and it will take some set up times. Yeah, got it. Uh, in other hand, uh, React mm-hmm. is uh, good for like uh, applications but because it provides flexibility mm-hmm. and it is giving seamless rendering options. Um, so when we are going with React, uh, it was having um, multiple community supports and documentation. So uh, when we are uh, choosing the tech stack as a React, it is helping us and uh, we can offer a uh, much into the table. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but in however, uh, in React, the one thing is like, uh, we have to uh, use third party libraries uh, to support everything. So more uh, dependencies. Yeah, is dependencies really there. Uh, and the Angular on the other hand is like, we have to uh, having the uh, learning, curve. learning curve. That's okay, I've right. also heard that uh, the React pre- uh, is pretty good with single page applications mm-hmm. and the UI feasibilities. So do you uh, stand for the same? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. This is some great insights, Crystal. Actually, it's pretty fascinating to see uh, the strengths that these uh, frameworks bring to the table. But what I have seen is like people or teams, you know, often tend to get confused in choosing the right framework, be it React or mm-hmm. Angular, right? So, uh, could you just let us know uh, where exactly is Angular being used, or how do we uh, leverage the strengths of Angular? Maybe through your experiences, mm-hmm. or could you elaborate this more? Uh, Angular is an excellent choice if it was a large scale product. Uh, and the application because it's the uh, TypeScript and the implementation of the TypeScript and the, uh, that the testing possibilities give the best to go with the enterprises level application. One example is like if we have the most complex dashboard or the, uh, the data manipulation or the synchronization, we can go with Angular because uh, as, it was, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is providing the uh, implementation of the TypeScript of data manipulation and synchronization. Uh, it is good for the enterprise level uh, applications. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it is like more like large scale or the enterprise level application, which is more complex, and we have to do that in a well structured and it has it has uh, like uh, robust features. Got it. It's yeah, exactly. Maybe mm-hmm. that's what even I have experienced, right? Uh, the ability of Angular mm-hmm. to handle large scale applications, maybe with some complex mm-hmm. requirements, has always been remarkable. Now, when we shift our focus towards React.js, when would you suggest to go uh, to choose React? Uh, in the other hand, React is like, it, it is named for like its flexi- flexibility mm-hmm. and its uh, uh, like uh, community support 
and the easy access of the libraries. Uh, it is more into like uh, dynamic applications or the single page websites or applications. Uh, so it is like more into the e-commerce site or like uh, the application which is like user interactive. So for this cases we can go with React as it provides like flexibility, scalability and we can access the data in a minimal level. Uh, so it is like more like the flexibilities and the scalability plays a role in choosing the Got React it. as a tech stack. Got it. Got it. I guess the key takeouts are the versatility, the mm. component driven approach and the uh, possibility to make mm. the interactive application. That sounds pretty exciting. But now actually the real confusion is about, it's not about confusion. Now mm. we've been speaking about the tech, the uh, uh, specifications or the possibilities of React and Angular. But, but I pretty, I'm pretty sure that you've been working over both these technologies. Mm. Could you give us some uh, real examples of case studies that you've been working Maybe let's start with Angular, a project maybe that mm. you would have done in Angular, so that we understand how do you or the team at mm. Aden choose things accordingly. Uh, actually, we did a project in Aden system, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, it's a CMS uh, management mm -hmm. system. Uh, so it has to handle with the vast data mm -hmm. and uh, reporting future mm -hmm. and this like uh, rendering things. Mm -hmm. So uh, because of the Angular's robust future and the implementation of TypeScript, I mean rendering, uh, so, and the testing capabilities, uh, we choose uh, Angular and uh, it was a success. So, I think like when it was a complex level, uh, we can go for it. Angular. Got it. Maybe that is a pretty good uh, because CMS definitely the data yes, is big, uh, the uh, complexities is more and yeah, reporting feature, yeah. that is a big crucial factor, yes. right? So, maybe that gives us a pretty good insight when mm. something like a complete uh, enterprise system kicks in, maybe yeah, that's a good choice to go mm. with Angular pretty great. Now, yeah, saying oh, we got the confusion cleared with Angular, but how about React? When when have your team or when have mm. you been working on a React project? Because you you have an expert team in Angular and React, so maybe you would have chosen React for one and Angular for mm. another. So when was the when when was the situation that you chose React? Uh, actually, we had a project recently. It mm -hmm. is like an edtech uh, okay. project, and it it uh, it's requirement is like more real-time uh, data mm -hmm. and it's like a rendering and user interface like mm -hmm. it's user inter interactive mm -hmm. so because of the react flex flexibility mm -hmm. and rendering capability and also the like we can reuse the component in there mm -hmm. so uh, because of that we can deliver the uh, user interactive and uh, real-time experiencing uh, project in this sector uh, because of the pure reason is like it is React is flexible and we can render it according to it. Got so it. Like it. So maybe, yeah, uh, I guess when the real time data mm. got in or the real time data subscription, the user interactive mm. management, uh, yeah, maybe th that's mm. a very ideal yes. case. And maybe EdTech is one of the good, op maybe that is another possibility, right? EdTech, the requirements are more, and that yes. is the oh. reason that you would have gone with this, yeah. So that gave us a pretty good understanding there. Yes. yes. From all these conversations we had, no? I guess the major conclusion that I could uh, comprehend is that uh, choosing the right framework is crucial for the project success. Absolutely right. The choice of framework is like it's related to the uh, requirement of the project mm -hmm. and its need and the expertise of the development team. Okay. So yeah, it's it. Hey, Crystal, but uh, one thing that has uh, been bothering me uh, along the conversation is that while designing the framework or while choosing the framework, is it that uh, maybe for a project, for a particular project, is it the only suitable framework or it is the most ideal framework? Uh, Can you elaborate more? Because okay. this this could be a room for a confusion, right? Uh, the ideal framework may support like uh, suitable for that project requirement, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it is not like not, it, we shouldn't be supporting other frameworks uh, mm -hmm. because it may give other strength and other uh, supporting features. Uh, so ideal, sub, ideal framework may be the exact op opportunity for an option for our project, but it is not the only option. Uh, we have to choose other frameworks and the, as I said earlier, the framework, choosing the framework is related purely based on the project requirement and its scalability and its need. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So maybe the conclusion is that uh, it, it could be the most ideal framework because uh, depending upon the project's requirements, mm. the uh, possibilities and the maybe uh, the strengths that we could leverage. But it's not curtailing that the other framework may not be used exactly. because yes. they could also be used. Yeah. Uh, it's just that the team strength, the yeah, possibilities but. and this uh, blends in better, right? Uh, the opportunities are more when this framework yes. is chosen. The other one also works. Yeah. But yeah, we should go with the ideal one yeah, as yes. much as possible. Yeah, yes, got it, got yeah. it. Thank you. It's been pretty insightful. Yeah.
but unfortunately we are running out of time for today's episode so thanks a ton crystal thanks a ton for joining us in this infi- insightful discussions and it, it's been of great great value uh thanks arjun for having me uh it was a pleasure to discuss this topic and share my experience same, here same, same. yeah uh, i'm happy to be here thanks everyone for tuning in we will be back with more of such discussions experience stories and definitely more playlist and if you haven't subscribed already do subscribe to tech and tacos bye bye